My name is Nick Stewart. I'm a police officer and canine handler for the Mosley Lake Police Department in Washington State. Canine Chief is the winner of the 2021 Project Canine Hero Patrol and Apprehension Award, and I'm very excited to share his story and all the details about it with you guys. We graduated canine school in May of 2018 after uh, 10 weeks. So we worked till February of 2020, so just shy of two years on the road. I believe he had 50 plus uh, deployments that time. February 28th of 2020, um, we were on patrol. There was a subject our detectives have been looking for. He was involved in a bunch of armed robberies. We initiated a pursuit. I've never seen somebody trying so hard to get away. Successful spike strips uh, deployments. We had popped all four of his tires. And I remember hearing an officer Stewart get over the radio saying, hey, let me get in front, let me get in front. His vehicle came to a stop that night. The subject jumped out, bailed on foot. Chief was sent after him, and right before Chief was about to apprehend him, the suspect unfortunately turned with a gun, we believe turning fire at us. I was just exiting the passenger seat of my patrol car when I heard the first shot. But I believe he was shooting at Officer Stewart. Um, however, K-9 Chief was between Officer Stewart and the suspect, and the round struck uh, Chief in his eye. Went through his left eye shattered his, or fractured his jaw, all the bolt fragments in there. The first thing that went through my mind was, he's dead, we lost his canine. I received a phone call, I want to say it was around maybe 11 p.m. from Captain Williams. Okay, we got him in the car, his breathing was, was labored, he was just kind of gurgling blood, basically. We immediately got an IV catheter placed in his leg. We got some pain medication on board right away as well to calm him down. That was a long, rough night. Once she did the initial assessment on K-9 Chief, she was able to talk our helicopter transport into airlifting the dog down to Pullman, which is a regional animal hospital. There was a moment where Chief paused. He took a long pause in between breaths. It was probably like four or five seconds. And I just remember thinking, I held my breath at the same time, and I was like, this is it. I remember walking into the police department and seeing Nick, and he was covered in Chief's blood. And I remember that smell of the blood. But then I got to see everyone around that was supporting him and supporting me. When we got to the airport, he, um, his heart rate had started to drop. That whole first night, it was kind of touch and go. They took us to the vet hospital. They opened the ambulance doors and there's this team of specialists. And I mean, I'm just a small town vet. And to see that we get, got him there alive to this team of specialists. It didn't look good that night, but surprisingly by, I think the evening the next day, he started kind of improving a bit, and then after that, it just improved and improved and improved, and you know, like two days later, they said, yeah, he's probably gonna be going home in like another day or two. We had a pretty cool exit from the hospital. He walked himself out of there, happy as could be, and we had to escort all the way from Pullman back to Moses Lake of, of police cars with the lights on. Coming back into town, there was, the streets were lined in Moses Lake, thousands of people out there were signs for him, so that was just awesome feeling, feeling the, the support from the community here. It's a giant relief having that support from Project K-9 Hero his food, his medical, everything. He's on uh, a special diet for his stomach and everything, so it's kind of pretty expensive food. Uh, I just ordered it through our vet, and Project K-9 Hero picks that up. Chief is a hero because he saved my husband's life, and he saved the other officer's life that were there. Chief took a bullet that was meant for any one of the officers that was standing in front of me on that scene. He is absolutely a hero. He's my hero. There's no doubt in my mind he took a bullet for Officer Stewart. He without hesitation, did what he was supposed to do. And that is why he's here. What he went through and was able to fight through that and keep all the officers safe that night, including myself, he's, I mean, in my mind, that absolutely makes him a hero.